Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not, you know, please drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. And if you feel like the video gives you a good invite or a, a, uplift, a good invite to uplifting and gives you good vibes towards it, you know, share it with somebody else. It might do the same for them or even more. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. And the video I'm doing right now is Twin Flame 101. Hey, oh, because if God and universe is asking you to go all in there, that reason being you're creating a lot more than you've been expecting of yourself <laughs> you know <laughs> just being able to do that you know because there's a lot of times the universe and god will really make us earn really 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 make us earn something that um that we never knew we can encounter in our lives and we didn't know that of being that way until we had to really step out we had to really you know earn it you know it'll be different times that i would get frustrated i was like i gotta earn myself to do this i gotta earn myself to do that are you freaking kidding me you know i was like this is something that it should come natural and he's like because your situation ain't natural so you have to keep on moving. i'm like i'm ready to go toe for toe with god because he keep making me go through that but then it came to that point now i get it i, I really understand because a lot of times if, if we are just given something you know that they, they can say oh you can be an empire or you can be an ambassador of this or you can own your own country or you can do this and you'll be like yeah right you know this is only you know this is like pipe dreams and it's just like it's it you can really create that within yourself and you just really don't know if y'all hear the smacking over here it's my daggone cat because i'm like really are you doing this today right now <laughs> you know because you don't even really be doing that but i guess it's because i'm in here but um you know going through that you know, I was saying, you know, I was thinking about when I was, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this video. And it just gave me a visualization, you know, like say if you're you're working for a championship for weightlifting or, you know, um, or you're trying out for a, a new like reality show, you know, Scared Straight or, you know, those different ones that they, they had to go through all those obstacle courses. And you really want to get that because it has a grand prize at the end. And it is it, it can be that and you notice that you had to change the way you eat. You have to, you know, have a certain amount of time that you need to work out, stay active, you know, be movable, you know, uh change eating habits, different stuff like that, drink more water, you know, um, all those different things. And you had to train yourself to really go through that. It's like, yeah, I wanna be able to beat, you know, I wanna be on a team that, you know, that's up on moving. And when you're working through that every day, you'll start noticing your, your body is changing, you know, the way your attitude's changing, how you see yourself, you know, because I remember when I used to work out so much, I wouldn't really pay attention to myself until one day I looked and I was like, girl, what we like? <laughs> it's like, you know, I started having abs, started having my, my mom, you know, my, my shoulders was all bold and stuff like that. I started bulking out. I started looking like a dude. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> you you have to change that up a little bit. You know, you look a little bit too vascular, but it would be at that point where I didn't notice you know all the changes that I was going through because I used to always work out you know to keep myself out of trouble because I was always that type of person if you start really making you start pushing a bear if you want to poke the bear in hibernation if you want to you know I'll start coming back that's not what you want you know so instead of me wanting to pop off on people like that I used to work out a lot and I noticed how much weight I was dropping just from my uniforms. They were like, Rosalyn, you just turned your uniforms in like two months ago. What are you doing? You know, because you only put, you know, where I was working at, you only can change them like uh, through six or seven months after that. But I was dropping so much weight, you know, and they were like, what are you doing? I said, I work out all the time, you know, because I used to work in a um, military uh, installation where we feed the soldiers. So it would be these things when they had to go out to the field, we had to have like big bulks of food and I'll be taking the mermites and just lift them and doing squats. And I'm like, girl, do you still work out? You work out at home and you work out here. Cause y'all pissing me off if I, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. Keeping myself occupied, keeping myself busy. It's like, you got a lot to do. I said, stuff is already done over there. And, you know, and I would start speeding up and people just like, is she on drugs or something like that? I said, no, I'm, you know, I'm just taking these weight loss, you know, shots and pills and it, you know, speeds up your metabolism. So, yeah, 
<laughs> you know, I was not on legal drugs, put it that way. But, you know, it would be different things that I would notice within myself that I wasn't noticing before because I would always be on the go. And when I actually got time to do it, I'm like, man, my clothes ain't even fitting right no more. But then it was just like when I allowed myself to really look back, I noticed this is what God was trying to tell me, you know, because it, it was at that point where I was very depressed and I was eating, you know, going through what I'm going through now. And, uh, well, I used to put it that way. But, uh, you know, going through all that, it, it was a lot to deal with, you know, but then it took practice after practice after practice. And it's just like your life is doing the same thing. You know, there's something big. There's a big grand prize in there for you, but you're going to have to really work for that. Because a lot of times, you know, we when we allow ourselves to, you know, we think outside the box, well, dang, I wish I would have did this, I wish I would have did that. We start going back into a place of regret, and they're telling you don't do that. Don't look at a place of regret. You know, it would be times that you wish you would have went left and you didn't right. Or you brought people in your life, and, and they probably put you through hell. Or you dated somebody that didn't, you know, didn't appreciate you or, you know, you went through something very toxic with them or very, you know, traumatic. And it's just like you had to learn those lessons from those people. You know, there's people that come in your life for every reason and every season. You know, there'll be people that'll still be in your life and, you know, speak highly of you and, you know, encourage you. That's the best thing to know. If you got people in your life that inspires you all the time to be more inspirational to yourself that is a blessing of all terms or even if you have spirit that's talking to you you're allowing yourself to do that you know that'll start creating more of yourself you know when you're being optimistic even do pessimistic situations you're still trying to find a good out of that situation and it's just like maybe if God's making me wait he's probably preparing me for something bigger or he wants you to be able to appreciate it you know you may be like going through financial, you know, issues right now. And I mean, really bad. And you can probably get, you know, say that you, you know, walked around on the street and you, you could be walking next, you know, you saw a $5 bill over here by, you know, by a bench or something. Cause somebody could have been sitting out here waiting for a bus or it could have been sitting out, you know, just reading or something like that. And money done fell out somewhere. Boom. Then you have $5. It's like, dang, I wish I could have found something else. It's like, be grateful for that $5 you just, you know, you found. Or you could be in a laundry room. And then, boom, you find some money there in the washer dryer. There's many of us that's done that, you know. And just be, like, grateful. Like, shoot, that, you know, that could be $5. And, you know, give me some, put some gas in my car. Shoot, you know, could have got me a little, you know, fast food thing or something like that. Or could I, I could have bought some waters or something. And then, there, you, you know, certain things like that will start happening. Or you start finding, you know, silver dollars or, you know, dimes somewhere. And even though it, it's just like that may not get you around the corner, but then you can sit up here and say, you know, you look up and you put it in your pocket and say, thanks, God. Or it could be, you know, a family member just letting you know, hey, we're walking with you. We're, we're, we're with you through all this. You know, we know what you're going through is not easy, but we're helping you through this. You know, because a lot of times we go through things and we feel like we're by ourselves. And it can feel lonely. It's different from, you know, I've seen this a lot. It's different from being lonely and you're alone. You know, because when you're alone, there's nobody around you, even though you're not, you know, you're there. But there's a lot of times you don't see it. You can feel it because there's, you know, different times, you know, the temperature can change in a room. Like right now I'm doing my stuff and I got me some hot cocoa sitting right here, you know, waiting for me. I'm like, dang, it got cold real quick. And then that lets me know the spirits with me, you know. And um, just being able to do that, you know, you're going to have to work hard on a lot of different things that you want in your life. And sometimes it can be very frustrating. It can be very discouraging. But you really don't know what you're capable of doing until you allow yourself to do it, you know. And when you're allowing yourself to do it, you, you start transforming. You start forming different things in your life that you didn't know seemed possible. And then there will be different times if you're a, a reader on different, you know, uh, numbers and stuff like that. They tell you you're gonna, there's going to be a time in your life that you're going to appreciate those burdens. There will be time in your life that, you know, um, you're going to be okay with that note that you got. And it was just like, like I seen on this, um, this uh, what was it, on the reels on uh, Instagram. 
where the guy, he was using his phone. I mean, when he had, when I tell you he was using his iPhone and he, when he had this, this, you know, these type of, you know, things that I guess you put on big cameras and stuff like that, those, those stands and stuff and he was moving and, you know, he created his own movie through his phone. And he was just like, you know, while he was saying that, he was talking in the background, you know, while he was filming different things. And he was like, I'm glad that God didn't give me that yes at that time. I'm glad that things didn't work out for me at that time. And, you know, and he's like, I never dreamed of me saying those words. But now this guy, you know, he, he was able, people started taking him seriously. He was starting to be seen. He was starting to be noticed. You know, he kept going and going and going and going. And it may have been slow for him, but he was just like... I'm glad God made me wait because if I would have took it then, I wouldn't appreciate it as much as I do now. I wouldn't have been able to be happy about the different things and wanting to add more to it until I was uh, creating something bigger and better for myself. And when I say that, I had spiritual chills like I have it now, you know, and it's just like you'll be glad you didn't get that yes right away. You know, you'll be glad that that door didn't open for you as soon as you thought it would. Because this is allowing you to know, appreciate even the little things. Because the little things end up leading to bigger things into your life. And you'll start appreciating them more. They start showing gratitude. Because that's why they say, you know, be grateful you have a roof over your head. You know, um, be grateful you got, you know, you, you got clothes you can put on. You got shoes on your feet. Because there's a lot of things that we take for granted. It could be, you know, um, like the power can go out. There's a lot of times, it's like, especially, you know, when I was living in the Midwest, we would go days at times, especially during the winter seasons. There will be times that we will go without heat. You know, you had to be able to start fires outside just to get warm or something like that or put the ovens on like praying, you know, you had a gas stove or something like that and you can turn it all up and, you know, and being able to, you know, heat up your house or something like that or pile on different clothes because there was some years that I remember when we, um, we had this really bad blizzard. And when I say the power was out for days and days at a time, it was just like in St. Louis, we were living at um, outskirts of there. And there were people, I don't know how many, I think it was like about 15 to 20, 2,500 that had transitioned through that time because of the, the, the storm where we didn't have heat or any kind of electricity going on. And that's a dangerous thing. And you don't realize it could be your power is out or something like that and next thing you know you you have to be without your phone <laughs> you know you don't have lights you know and it just depends on what time of year it is you know if it's hot then you, you're gonna be having to take a lot of cold showers just to stay cool or if it's cold you you know you gonna have to find different ways to bundle up and it's like when you go without that you'll start appreciate like man look i appreciate my blankets you know, I, I appreciate my heaters, my space heaters, or I can appreciate the central heat that I got in my house. You'll start, you know, when you had to, you know, they'd say, love what you have now before you have to learn what you have without. And they always telling you, never take things for granted. You know, and when you have that, wake up every day knowing it's a blessing, you know. And a lot of times when we're going through a lot of stuff on a day-by-day -day basis, it's like, oh, I'm still here in this chapter. And it was like that chapter is showing you so much of what an author you can truly be about your life. You can write the, you can write something that can be a Pulitzer surprise. After that, you just be amazed what you can, you can create within your life when you're doing that. And you notice it yourself from every detail. Of being able to write a book because there are people like that you know I want to write a book and stuff like that I say you can do it it's like but what would I talk about what really inspires you in your life what do you want to create what is there something about you that you can really be proud of within yourself it could have been something very bad and created something very good and you can inspire somebody about that being able to tell people what you went through being able to tell the diversity that you had to go through that really moved you moved against you for a long time and what you created something very beautiful in yourself when you stay persistent and consistent you know being determined and motivated you know and you just really don't understand what you can create of that and when you share that with the world they always tell you you know, you're a walking inspiration. A lot of times you don't realize there's somebody out there that's going to appreciate what you're doing within your life. And they're telling you to go ahead and you can manifest that. If they're putting this in your mind on what can take place in your life and you're moving through good intent for that, 
you don't know what can happen for you, but you have to be very consistent about that because when you're being very consistent and not being complacent on different things, you know, they know there's going to be time, especially if you're dealing with a lot at one time, they know that's going, you know there's going to be many breaks you're going to have to take. Because they know the body is tired, the soul is tired, the mind is tired. Especially when you're working so hard and things are just not moving in the way that you expected them to. Or they're not moving in fast pace like you wanted to. It's just like, you know, instead of moving like this, it's just moving, you know. And they want you to stay consistent about that. And not allow yourself to give up even when things are not moving the way it is. But they have something very special for you at the end of that hallway. They always say, you know, if God make you, you waiting for them doors open, praise him in the hallway. And a lot of times it's hard to do that when you really have something going on in your life. It's like, God, I'm really, you know, really not understanding this. But please hold my hand through this. You know, I know I may not understand what, why you're taking me through this. But please comfort me through this because it's not easy. You know, and then that's when we start, you know, coming to our guides about things, even when we don't fully understand that, you know, allow ourselves to move through that, you know, um, meditate through it, you know, clear your mind through that walk, you know, in nature, you know, just to be able to clear your mind, even if you're outside in the middle of the night, you're talking to the universe about different things that's going on and they can give you clarity. You know, if they're telling you they're going to, you know, give you new insight, new inspiration, they're going to be able to do that. And they're going to be doing that when you're allowing yourself to be open to the inevitable or you're being open to what is you don't know yet. And when you're allowing yourself to move through that way, you just don't know what kind of blessings or, you know, insight that you may get through that when you're allowing yourself to be used as that vessel. It's like, God, I'm, I know you're using me as this purpose, but can you please... You know, you know, show me where I need to start at. And then when you're allowing yourself to do that, because it's like they're already there assisting you, but they want you to be able to stay open. They know everything that's going on in your life. They understand the different circumstances you're in. And they're really trying to create better for you for that. But when you know you're working uh, 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 for yourself and not against yourself, because a lot of times we create resistance. We really do. We create resistance when there's so much going on in our lives. We allow certain things to really swallow us whole but then you're just when you're like nope not today i'm not tomorrow either let me allow myself to move different you know and a lot of times universe will put that heat up on you until you allow yourself to move you know a lot of god will use different people to go against you until you allow yourself to set yourself free you know and those are the things that's telling you we can you can be your own walking inspiration inspire yourself to create better for your life you know you don't like the way things are going allow your to allow yourself to make movements for those changes to make play make changes for you you know and that's all they're telling you to do you, when god and universe is asking you to go all in because they never know what they're going to have for you at the end remember that so I hope you are able to resonate with this this video. You know, you may be going through a lot a lot of stuff right now. There's a lot of people that's going through a lot. Some things you do know, some things you know. A lot of times you're facing a battle that nobody knows about. But that's okay because you already don't won the war. They're just making sure that you realize that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of that video. Oh, it's a little. Okay, what are you doing here? Sorry about that. I don't know what that is. I'm off the sum. I don't know what that is. But anyways, I would love to give a post notification and shout out to Mighty Robs, uh, Derek Tate, and uh, Holly Hughes. Much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. Please drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And um, I always leave my contact information in the description box below. And it's all about spiritual networking. If you just need um, help for just trying to understand your path of purpose, I also, you know, I'll try my best to be able to help you out. You know, there may be different things you experienced in your life that you may not understand or you're trying to see it's normal. I always tell people we are very rare. There's nothing about us that's normal. <laughs> there is nothing about us that's ordinary. We are here to be extraordinary. And you really are. It's just a lot of times it takes us a little bit to go through just to realize that. And that's okay. As long as you're allowing yourself to do that. So I'll try to, my best to be able to help you. Whatever we speak on is confidential. So I'll help you out the best way I, consul uh, I possibly can. So, you know, whatever you're working on and manifest into your life, keep going. Keep going. Even though it may seem like a snail snow, it may move like molasses in a cold winter morning, but it is okay. You never know where it's going to take place into your life. 
it can be very extraordinary. You will never know unless you try. You know, they always say the only fool lives is a fool that didn't try. So don't live in regret. Keep on allowing yourself to move. Okay? And it could be sooner than you expected. And, you know, it would be a lot more than you actually anticipated. So I hope you have a blessed weekend. Please, please be safe and responsible for everything you do. I forgot to say that in my other two videos. But, um, yeah, please be responsible and safe for everything you do. And, um... You know, make sure you're giving out love, light, positivity, words, vibe, frequency, you know, especially in social distancing. You never know. They can really take somebody a long way and can take you even further just because the fact is you took time out to help somebody do that. You'll see me on my next video. Much love. Love you all. Peace.